Well, I just got finished blowing off. They uh, shut the pad down. They come out and said, we're all going inside and hiding for a thunderstorm coming, lightning storm. But you guys can keep blowing off. <laughs> it's pretty typical. Um, which is fine. I wanted to get empty anyhow. They told me to blow off and get the heck out of here. So the only thing on right now is the power plants. I shut the whole frack down. So who knows if I even get a load. I just delivered one. But yeah, you gotta prepare for stuff like this. Um, it happens. I've worked through a tornado once. There's a tornado went by the bad. They uh, didn't even tell us. It was funny, a gust of wind hit and all of our hard hats flew off and went from one side of the pad to the other and only stopped because they had the fence. But, I don't know. 2823. But, we're getting out of here. The cans are on a bigger road. Yeah, if you notice, you need a CB. Oil field, you gotta have a CB. Because you're on these back roads. You don't want to, so. Especially right now, man. We want to get the hell out of here. With the... What the hell we're going with? With the storm coming, we want to get the hell out of here. And lucky, sometimes they, uh, they make you stop. It doesn't matter how much sand you got left. Oh, they sent me a load. We're going to Keys Rocks. We'll be there in an hour. I found I found a new way to go. But hopefully we're able to get rid of it. I don't know. If we can, Vicar to Winfield. You got interrupted. They uh, sent me my load heading to McKee's Rocks. Hopefully, all these storms are gone by the time we get there. And we avoid the rain altogether, which I'm kind of surprised. I didn't do a week in review video last week. I got 10 loads last week if you were interested. Um, but we're doing, we're already on par to do more this week. I've got six already. I'm going for number seven. So if I continue, I got three loads yesterday. If I continue a two load average for the rest of the week, I'll end up with 11. It's not bad. Hoping I make it out to the main road before the storm really kicks in. But, oh well. Funny thing about lightning storms, they sometimes they shut you down, sometimes they don't. It just depends on the, the company. Um, I've been shut down and I've been told to keep working. But they were nice enough to let us finish blowing off. There's only two of us there. If there have been more, they would have uh, they would have made us all shut down and wait it out. But like, some companies like Halliburton, they're like <laughs> they're like a pool, you know. And you see a lightning strike, they shut everything down until a half hour after. They're safe and sorry. And in some, they don't shut down for anything. You just keep on a roll. Everything's metal, so it's understandable. But this weather's been so weird. It's like really hot in the daytime, and then at night it's cold, which sucks. When you're running nights, because then your truck, you can never shut it off. 
I don't have an APU or nothing. We just we have to idle her. This way it goes. She's got idle. Run that AC. I don't like to be hot. Katie don't like to be hot. We like to be comfortable. Uh, rain's not getting too bad, so we should be okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I guess it's me rambling on because we got nothing else. Not much to say. Kind of run out of subjects to talk about. Um, yeah, I could be like some of these guys get my. Give my opinion on the YouTube drama. I mean, certainly I'm watching it. It's entertaining. Um, I personally think a lot of it's fake. Yeah, this is a gnarly turn. Yeah, it's a 10% downgrade. You come down that hill for like a mile, and then you got a 90 degree turn at the bottom, and then another 90 degree turn. So you gotta creep down it because at the bottom you got a 15 mile an hour turn. Boys, trucking in the northeast. We're here in Cabot, Pennsylvania. Middle of nowhere, right off 422. Good luck finding it because you won't. <laughs> you can find Cabot, Pennsylvania, I'm sure, but. There's no reason to come here. There ain't nothing. But, uh, yeah, I don't think much of talking about the drama. I don't want to get into all that. Like I said, it's fun to watch. But the more and more I watch of that, and I will tell you this, uh, the more the more I think it's a lot, it's often it's made up. This is view hunting or board. Wow. I'd get off, but I think y'all see this lightning storm is kind of crazy. Makes some pretty good footage. I'm sorry that I got I gotta keep the phone up and down. If I go sideways with it. I know you get to see the whole screen, but it's just it's just harder for the phone to stay up right. It seems to be less bouncing if I hold it like this, so it is what it is. about the YouTube drama. I'm not going to say that I don't watch it, because I do. Um, I like nice long videos to listen to while I'm driving and uh, pass the time, because honestly, my radio in here only gets in a couple stations. Then they're not in the But 
we're supposed to be running 13, and that's example of the guy not listening to his freaking radio. Yeah, don't be that guy. Don't be the clown that's ignoring a damn radio. Don't be that guy. out there and get yourself in the mix of the drama then yeah you're kind of asking for it my channel so small nobody really cares they're not going to pay attention to me which is fine but i'm getting out to the main road i'm gonna head through pittsburgh that'll be fun That's the right way to do it. Have your radio on. So you can get some useful information. He gave me some. I gave him some, even though it was wrong. Well, you ain't got support from an active by chance, are you? No, I'm going to McKees. Okay. I'm heading to McKees. Uh, as I said, there's a down power line over there. Uh, by 68, John Horton. I don't go that way But, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the storm and me babbling on. I know sometimes I don't make any sense, but it is what it is. <laughs> I kind of run out of anything to talk about. If you guys got anything you want to hear me talk about, let me know. Talk to you all later.